Why India is not buying the SU-35? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic. Why India is not buying the Sukhoi SU-35 fighter jets? This advanced aircraft has caught the attention of many nations, but not India. Why? Let's explore the reasons, understand the SU-35's features, and analyze how it compares to India's current and future fleet. India is rapidly modernizing its air force, aiming to dominate the skies with cutting-edge technology. While many nations either Sukhoi SU-35, a 4 plus generation fighter jet, as a formidable addition to their arsenal, India has chosen not to pursue this aircraft. Introduction to the Sukhoi SU-35 the Sukhoi Su-35, developed by Russia's Sukhoi Corporation, is an advanced multi-role fighter jet. It's often referred to as a 4 plus generation aircraft because it incorporates advanced avionics, weaponry, and stealth-like features that bring it close to fifth-generation capabilities. Designed for air superiority and ground attack missions, the Su-35 boasts exceptional maneuverability, advanced radar systems, and powerful weaponry. But despite its capabilities, the Indian Air Force has reasons to look elsewhere. Why India is not buying the SU-35? 1. Operational philosophy and standardization. The Indian Air Force emphasizes standardization to streamline logistics, maintenance, and pilot training. The SU-35 would introduce another aircraft platform, complicating these aspects. Currently, India already operates Russian-origin SUE-30 MKIs, which share some features with the SUE-35 but are heavily customized for Indian needs. 2. Cost of Acquisition and Maintenance Acquisition Costs The SUE-35 is an expensive aircraft, with each unit costing around $85 million. Adding to this are the infrastructure upgrades and training costs required to integrate the jet into the Indian Air Force. Maintenance costs. The Su-35's advanced systems demand regular, specialized maintenance, significantly raising life cycle costs. India's experience with the high maintenance demands of the Su-30 MKI has been a cautionary tale. 3. Integration challenges. The Su-35 systems are tailored for Russian protocols, creating integration challenges with India's Western origin equipment like the Rafale. Seamless interoperability between different aircraft is critical for modern warfare. For future-proofing India's air force. India is heavily investing in fifth-generation technology with programs like the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA. Acquiring a 4 plus generation jet like the Su-35 might not align with this long-term vision. 5. Dependence on Russia. While Russia has been a long-time defense partner, Overreliance on Russian equipment poses risks, especially with the increasing volatility in global geopolitics. The SU-35 purchase could deepen this dependence, contrary to India's strategy of diversifying its defense partnerships. 6. Sanctions and international pressure. The US has imposed sanctions under Qatar by countering America's adversaries through Sanctions Act on countries purchasing Russian military equipment. A deal for the Su-35 could expose India to economic and political repercussions. India's alternative approach. 1. Focus on indigenous projects. India's AMCA program aims to develop a fifth-generation stealth fighter with advanced capabilities. The Light Combat Aircraft, LCA, the Tejas program is another example of India's push for self-reliance. 2. Western collaborations. India has strengthened ties with Western nations for defense procurements. The acquisition of Rafale jets from France and potential collaborations with the US for F-21s highlight this shift. Key features and specifications of the SUE-35. 1. Airframe and design. The SUE-35 features a blended wing body design for reduced radar signature. Its airframe is reinforced with titanium and high-strength composites for durability. 2. Engines. Powered by two Saturn AL 41F1 S turbofan engines. Each engine generates 14,500 kgf of thrust, enabling supercruise and high speed performance. Vectoring nozzles give the aircraft unmatched agility in dogfights. 
3. Avionics and Radar Equipped with the Urbis E Passive Electronically Scanned Array, Pacer, Radar Capable of detecting aerial targets up to 400 kilometers away and tracking 30 targets simultaneously. 4. Weapon Systems Can carry a payload of up to 8,000 kilograms. Includes air-to-air missiles, R-77, R-73, ear-to-ground missiles, and guided bombs. Features a 30mm Jisho 30-1 autocannon for close combat. 5. Stealth Features Reduced radar cross-section, RCS, due to radar-absorbent materials and airframe design. These features make the Su-35 a lethal force in the air, but does it align with India's defense needs? Comparison, SU-35 versus India's current and future fleet. 1. SU-30 MKI versus SU-35. The SU-30 MKI, India's workhorse, is customized for Indian conditions and operational needs. While the SU-35 offers upgrades, they may not justify the costs and logistical challenges. 2. Rafale versus SU-35. India's Rafale jets boast superior electronics, stealth features, and ease of integration. The Rafale's proven combat record gives it an edge over the SU-35. 3. AMCA vs. SU-35 The AMCA project, once operational, will surpass the SU-35 in stealth, avionics, and multi-role capabilities, making it a better investment for the future. Conclusion while the Su-35 is an impressive aircraft, it doesn't align with India's strategic goals, operational philosophy, and long-term vision. India's focus on indigenous development and diversified partnerships ensures a robust, future-ready air force. What do you think of India's decision? Let us know in the comments below.